the Yankees are still very, very much in play for Manny Machado. And the general thought is that these guys, Machado and Harper, are not going to get the 10-year deals from the teams that have the most money. The Yankees are going to play very close to the best. If they can get a Machado for five years, even at $200 million, and give him an opt-out after two years, that might be the way to go. I don't think they're going to play in the 10-year, $350 million range. And, you know, from an agent that I was talking to, the Harper situation, the, there are offers for Harper that are like two years, $90 million. Teams with money are willing to do that. But nobody really wants to sniff around 10 years. Now, will the Phillies end up acquiescing and do that? Does he want to go to the Phillies? The White Sox supposedly have a lot of money they want to spend. They have an 82-year-old owner, and they have so much money to spend because their payroll after next year, Don and Peter, has only $5.75 million committed. The entire payroll. So they've got the money to spend, but if you're Harper, do you want to go to a team that's not going to win in 2019? Do you want to go to the south side of Chicago? It seems like the, the fun place is the north side of Chicago. And, and, and finally, I've seen a lot of this on Twitter with the rumors about you know, the, the three-way deal with the Yankees, uh, the Mets, and the, and the Marlins, that Andujar would be a part of it, and people are shocked. Here's what I would tell people. Can't you read the writing on the wall? He didn't start the game that could have continued the Yankee season. Doesn't that give you a window into what they think he's going to be in 2019? Now, you can't say he's not going to improve. He's a young athletic star, a star hitter. And, but they're looking to win in 2019, and they probably think their best way to do that, they could get a pitcher if they include, include Andujar into, um, into a deal. They get Machado. They sign DD to an extension. They move Machado to third. If you look at Andujar, I believe Andujar's 23 years old, Don. Mm -hmm. Machado's 26. So it's not like you're going out and getting a 32-year-old. It's not something I'm advocating for, but I'm just but, telling you what could be going through their mind. And Duor is a guy that interests a lot of teams. But the one team that knows him best, the Yankees, didn't play him in a win-or-go-home scenario. That, to me, is shocking, and it shows you what... Uh, the immediate thought process is on Andujar. But that's kind of unfair, Michael. It's like saying, well, you know what? The Yankees could have called up J Derek Jeter in time for the playoffs in 95. They didn't, so they really didn't believe in him. No, they just didn't think he was ready. Everybody around the Yankees said Andujar was supposed to be a 2019 call-up. But because of injury, they forced him a year early. And he made yeah, a share of mistakes, but he I, also raked. I know, but see, I, I, I can't buy that that parallel guy hit 297 for the Yankees he was arguably their best overall hitter they couldn't hit against the Red Sox and he didn't play because they thought his defense was right. so bad but you don't so it's not like Jeter wasn't even a major leaguer essentially in 95 this guy was the the runner-up to rookie he should have been the rookie of the year in baseball in the American League and they didn't play him so it would tell you that oh. in my opinion for 2019 they're not overly in love with him because he would be included in a deal no, he just would be. Then you would have to get Machado then. If you don't you, get Machado yeah, you, and you it, trade Andujar away, then it's a major problem. Right. But, uh, I listen, I think they'd be better off with Machado because I think Machado at this particular stage of his career is better than Andujar. But I think in two years, Andujar can be Machado for a lot less cheaper than what you paid for Machado. He can grow into that. He's 23, but the, for the Yankees admitting that he was more of a 2019 call-up, they knew his defense would be a bit of a problem. And once you get to the playoffs, you can't afford to make those types of mistakes. But that doesn't mean he can't grow into being oh, a very good defender. Oh, I think he defender. can, and that's so, why teams want him. Yeah, and, and this is what happens, and this is why you end up depleting your minor league system, is because you want to go for it now. You're a win-now team, so every trade is about what helps us win now. And then if you don't win, like what happened last year and the year before, where you were very good but didn't win, you can't get those guys back. If Machado, for some reason, doesn't work out or they don't win, whoever gets Andujar is going to be in a better place because he's three years younger and a heck of a lot cheaper than what the Yankees or whoever is eventually going to have to pay for Machado. So the Yankees are going to have to win now, but you do sacrifice a lot of the future.